Okay, what I'm doing here now on this uh, water softener part two is uh, we're gonna clean all the salt out of it. Basically, I'm just gonna add water until uh, that salt all dissolves, turns it over, and then I'm gonna vacuum the resin out. We're gonna inspect and clean that all out. Take this top off here. Just push down and pry up on these with a flat screwdriver. <clears throat> Should all come off. That'll give us a better look inside. Now if I wanted to, if I could lift stuff, which I can't right now, I can only lift 10 pounds because I had back surgery. So that's my dilemma now. I'm just gonna have to back that out, reuse the resin, dump it back in. What I want to do is inspect the bottom of uh, this tube here. It's going to have like a mushroom cap, basically, so the resin can't get out. This is where your your uh, fresh water would be coming out. Or in, depending on the cycle. But uh, we're filling it up now. All I did is I hooked the hose up to the overflow tube. And uh, we're going to turn it over that way. Okay, so I got a little bit of cable here. We're gonna lift this out of here. Now, <clears throat> not everybody's got a crane, obviously, at home. But I do, my back hurts. I can't lift anything. Otherwise, you'd be able to just roll this on its side and kick that out. We'll see if we can't wreck something here. <clears throat> Hopefully not. I just wanna get it out of here so we can flush it out and clean this brine tank all out. And if you would have to drop this, uh, that's not going to be good because it's fiberglass and uh, it'll crack pretty easy. It'll be junk after that. Done. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and rinse the rest of this out. Get the camera down in there so you can see there's a lot of uh, buildup. Basically, it's saturated water and salt that, if I'd add a bunch more water, it would eventually all dissolve out of there. A little bit of resin there. We're going to take this off and show you the float. Just take that little wing nut out of there. And Now some of these tanks have like a uh, plastic bottom, but uh, you can see that's supposed to fit down in there all the way. And then uh, this is where your eductor is. Basically to push the brine in, fills up. So right there it is. There's your little valve. We'll end up having to take this part, make sure that's all good. That's all that's to it. Uh, here's a better shot of some resin. It does, does appear that they're kind of 
half beads. Some of them are kind of full, which is kind of concerning, I guess. We're gonna have to really check that plastic strainer out there to make sure nothing's getting. That's another reason why I wanna pull that out, that pipe, because it's got one of those uh, mushroom caps on also. So we'll get that done here. Okay, so I think we got a bigger problem than what I think. I don't want that to happen. What I was trying to do is upflow the resin to try to get this pipe out because it's got a, you don't, you don't want to lose too much of the resin. You can always buy more, but then you might be better off just buying another softener. Right there's what I was trying to get out making sure that this is clean and good. A little, that's all supposed to make sure the resin does not go out into your water supply. And it'll clog up everything. Looks like it's good, but I think we got a crack on this fiberglass body down here. I don't know what happened if it. We're going to take a look at it. But that's why I need to pull all this stuff apart because it, uh, make you run for your money on it. And with this one, it looks like a guy could be wasting his time just because of that fiberglass could be cracked on the bottom. But what I'm gonna do, it's right, right down there. I'm gonna clean it off. I got it full of water. We're gonna see if it holds. And we'll go from there. Sad news. Looks like it's cracked. Something it must have broke or something at some point. So that's not fun. Oh well. I guess. I got a lot of spare parts. Anyway, at least you guys got to see the internal guts of all this. Uh, we'll tear into it a little bit more here, maybe. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over. There is a crack in the bottom of this. And that's your resin. Now, if you ever get this stuff on the floor, it is slicker than, it's like walking on ball bearings. So I pretty much called this uh, a non-salvaged one because it looks like we got a failure right there, a factory fail. Uh, and it's, once you get into this, I mean, these are about 150 bucks, but I got it for free. I'm not gonna, I not no desperate need. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it a bust and just save some of the parts for another one. This tank will be shot. We'll throw it away, but I'll save all the valves and stuff. And the brine tank, which could be used for a trash can. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, just comment below. If you want to see the head pulling apart, I can do that. We'll uh, try to bring you some more interesting uh, fix-it videos here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.